Okay friends, tonight I am hanging out at SeaWorld Orlando. It is the opening night for Electric Ocean and I always love coming for Electric Ocean. They have a fantastic firework display called Ignite that starts at 10 o'clock and also some cool live performances throughout the park. So, let's go do this. Bayside Stadium opens up at 8 o'clock and that's where most of the festivities are going to take place. The fireworks are going to be right here on this big gigantic barge and all of the other performances like the dance party and the neon DJs is all going to be over there and I'm very excited. I'm also very excited for the new roller coaster open icebreaker. Look at that bad boy. It's already done. We're ready to go. Other than fireworks and performances, they have a lot of cool colorful drinks that we're gonna be trying, and it's just a fun atmosphere. The music is really loud and it kind of gets you all pumped up. The DJs are all over the park uh, before the stadium actually opens at eight o'clock, and they're just trying to encourage people to like get in a pumped up spirit. We have a couple minutes before the Electric Ocean festivities start. So I thought it would be cool to actually head on into Sesame Street land and explore in there because I don't think I've ever actually came in here and made a video. They don't have any like big kid rides in Sesame Street. They do have a lot of smaller kid rides and I like those too. But the biggest thing I'm excited for tonight is the fireworks. So we're just basically trying to idle and buy some time until we get to see that wonderful nighttime show. I will give them credit. The theming inside Sesame Street Land is really well put together. I feel like I'm here actually. Hello? Hi, how are you? Oh! They actually spoke back to me. Yeah! What's up, what? What? You can also meet some of your favorite characters from Sesame Street and there's only one character I'm very excited to meet actually. We get to meet Elmo and the Count. Look at that! Together! Hi friends! Hi friends! One! Ah uh, ah uh, ah! Uh. I love it. Two! Ah uh, ah uh, ah! Uh. <laughs> Three! Ah ah ah! Oh too much! Too much! <laughs> I love it. Can we take a photo? Okay, meeting Elmo is cool, but meeting the Count? That is so awesome. I only wish I could meet Cookie Monster and Oscar the Grouch and my day would be made. Grover actually has a boxcar derby, kind of like a kid coaster. This actually looks really fun. I might be interested in riding this. I've never seen this before and I come here all the time, so I was a little shocked. Look at that. It's not a bad track either. I will tell you this, this was designed like as a kid coaster, but I think it's probably the most wildest kid coaster. Like if you compare this to uh, like uh, Goofy's coaster at Magic Kingdom, this is like a little bit more intense I feel like. convinced I think I need to ride this ride. <laughs> This is gonna be hysterical. Oh boy, it's happening quicker than I thought! Ah! <laughs> oh my lord! <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. 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 It's a little shaky! <laughs> Buddy. Okay, we're done. It was very quick. 30 seconds. That is such a fun little kid coaster. I love it. It was really fun actually. I like little roller coasters like that. That kind of just, I don't know, they make you smile but because you're not afraid. But that one was a little shaky, especially in the back row. I was actually a little bit shocked with that. Now I think it's time we actually head back near Bayside Stadium because it's almost getting dark out. The sky's looking beautiful. Also, I can't wait to actually ride that ride, that roller coaster, during a sunset because you can just tell it would be one of those great rides. Yeah, you can see it there. Before we make our way to the Bayside Stadium though, I think we need to get ourselves like a nice like bright drink. 
like the coolest thing about Electric Ocean is all the colors and it kind of gets neon once nighttime comes. So a fancy like fun looking drink probably would uh, be appropriate. I think I'll get the Glacier drink. That seems interesting because it comes with a uh, Rye Crew small batch vodka made with Icelandic glacier water mixed with coconut cream, ginger beer, and fresh lime for a refreshing cool cocktail. Oh wow, it looks so festive, doesn't it? The glacier. <laughs> I'm excited to try this and it comes with an edible straw as well. So I guess I'm gonna drink it first before I eat the straw, but I definitely will be eating that straw. Ooh, that's refreshing. Oh yeah. I think I know why they call it glacier. I mean, you can taste the coconut, but it's like cool and refreshing. I like it a lot. I was trying not to mix it because I liked the way it looked, but eventually it just got mixed up. But it does look so like cold and kind of like, uh, like you can tell like it's a glacier drink, you know what I mean? Now it's starting to get a lot darker out and uh, the colors of the electric ocean are starting to come out. Oh yeah, this is what I'm talking about. It's gonna be really cool. I like all of the neon and the black lights. I can't wait to actually see this in full like brightness. And I joined up with some friends and we're gonna hang out and have a good time at Electric Ocean. I'm very excited. And I'll put all of their YouTube links in the channel or in the description below, but it's gonna be a fun night. I think we're gonna go down to the dance party here. Oh, look at those big turtles! It's gonna be a fun, fun night. Look at all these people, they're having a great time. Holy moly! <laughs> That's you? <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> <laughs> I think I need to join. I don't even know. I'm joined. I'm walking along with them. That's the way. <laughs> I'm gonna watch this like this. Ooh. Oh, now we're coming back through the main stage here. <laughs> And we got a DJ up there doing all of its things. Too funny. On top of a really cool dance party and a DJ, they do have some really special performances happening right here too. So hopefully we'll come across some of them. Actually, I think one's happening right now. And y'all, it takes a special type of talent to do this. One more time, we want you to clap it up for Let's hear it. And now the fog is kicking in. <laughs> Holy moly! And now bubbles! <laughs> this is amazing! I love it!
super hot down here with all of the atmosphere, the music, everyone dancing. But the fireworks are gonna start are soon. We're it? gonna hold down a spot and actually, hopefully, we'll get a good view. There it is.
that was a really, really good show. I like the, the use of pyrotechnics in there. I mean, they really turn up the heat. You can feel it. And we were sitting in front of the speaker box. So like we were feeling the heat and also like it was like vibrating through our whole entire bodies. I really, really do like Ignite. It's up there with actually nighttime shows here in Orlando. I mean, I think it would even be better than the uh, Cinematic Spectacular at Universal Studios. I really think it is. And unfortunately with that, I am done for the night. We went to go leave the park and we were gonna go get pizza at Mellow Mushroom, which is across the street. But by the time we actually got out of the park, the restaurant already closed. So I didn't have an outro because I was gonna carry the video over and we were gonna go eat at a pizza restaurant that was really nifty. Uh, there, there's a couple of Mellow Mushrooms around, but this one's right next to SeaWorld. But that didn't happen. So when I got back home, I figured, uh, I would just pull up uh, next to my closet and say goodnight. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a little strange to see the world that we are living in now and then like having a rave basically at Bayside Stadium. The fireworks were fantastic though. I mean, honestly, it's probably my most favorite uh, thing that they can do at SeaWorld is those Ignite fireworks. The use of pyrotechnics and everything like that is, it's really good, it's professional grade. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna definitely be going back to check it out so i hope you enjoyed the video i had a lot of fun we'll see you next time bye